coming up on Fresh View with Pastor Inkechi Ene. He came to show us how a man anointed by the Holy Spirit works. Glory be to God. So that when we receive the same Holy Spirit, we know that we too can demonstrate the bigness of God. Hallelujah. Because we've seen this big God demonstrated by him. So Speed. Speed. You give me speed. Faster than the speed of light. Faster than the swift chariots of the king. Faster than the legs of Ahimeas. You give me speed. Supernatural and unusual speed. Power generated from deep within. Fire that cannot be quenched. Rivers that will never run dry. Faith that moves hills and fills valleys. You give me speed. Speed. You give me speed. By your word that created light. You give me a brand new day. By your spirit that came upon Elijah. You give me the advantage. By your grace that gave Cush a message. You give me a destiny and identity. Speed. You give me speed against all the odds. Regardless of the lost years, restoration is here. In spite of limitations and fears, my future is very clear. Now the clock is ticking, but it's in my favor. Now the sun is setting, but surely to rise again. Speed, he has given me speed. Wait for me, world. I'm coming in grand style with his word, his spirit, his grace. I have eternal, timeless life right here on earth. I live his life plugged out of time, yet I am locked into time and chance, a willing target for his unmerited favor. Surely I have speed. Not as the world defines it, but as my father, my maker, ordained it. Dancing with Your Spirit. Get your copy of Dancing with Your Spirit, the new book by Pastor Nkechi Ene. Visit freshdew.tv or call 0700 Get Media to place your order today. Also available at bookshops nationwide. Hello and welcome to Fresh Dew. I'm Pastor Nkechi Ene and it's always my pleasure to welcome you to every episode of Fresh Dew. Today with Pastor Shola Akingwale, we are taking part 10 of our message series, God, God is Big in me. me. And I'm sure Pastor Shola wants to give us a review of what we've done in nine parts so Praise far. Praise God, yeah. God is big in me. And uh, when we introduced this subject, we, we, we said we're going to be dividing it into sections. And we started by looking at the first part or section, which focused on God is big. The word big means of considerable size or extent, larger than other items of the same kind, of considerable, considerable importance or seriousness. It also means generous. And then we now shifted like three episodes ago into the second uh, section where we now shifted from the emphasis of God being big to God being big in me. And we explored who the me is, who are we talking about when we say God is big in me, and we found out that that is the believer. And then in order to understand this and grasp it, we looked at the importance of establishing the bridge be uh, from the positional or potential to the experiential, mm. and that's what we've been on. And we started by looking at Christ, mm. because Christ is the big God. Amen. And we saw that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. And what did he come to do in the flesh? In the past episodes, we've been touching on the fact that he came to deal with the broken bridge 
between God and man. He came to dwell among us as a man. He came to declare God the Father or introduce him to us. Uh, he came to introduce him to mankind. That, that, that was yeah. good last week. Yeah, it was good. And I love it when, when, when you're teaching and you have points and somehow they all just end up with the same, <laughs> Start with the same, same letter. letter. When you have the P's or the yeah. D's, yeah. well, these are the D's. So we right. said, you deal, he came to deal with the broken bridge, yes. he came to dwell. Yeah. So you can remember that deal, dwell, declare. declare. And the last one in this section of um, what Christ, the big God, came in the flesh to do was he came to demonstrate, I like that, mm -hmm. he came to demonstrate this big God who hadn't been seen in this way and in this manner before. Look at John 1, 14, and the word, the word, Jesus, became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. That word behold means to like, you know, to contemplate, to, 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 to give attention to something, yeah. to gaze attentively at something. So obviously what Jesus came to demonstrate, by the time he began to demonstrate it, mm. he got the attention of the people Certainly. in a way the people's attention had never been gotten before. Mm -hmm. And God began, you know, to look even clearer to the people. He came to demonstrate. So it wasn't just enough to deal with the broken bridge, mm -hmm. to dwell, to declare. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if he did all his declaring and there was no demonstration, it will almost be like, you know, what, what he said that, you know, actions speak louder than words. So yeah. Jesus came to demonstrate. He mm -hmm. came in the flesh, not just like I said, to declare, but then by the things he did, mm -hmm. He showed us the big God. We're talking about a big God. Mm. And we're talking about big God being revealed to me, mm. me, the believer. Mm. Positionally, when I got born again, that big God was revealed to me. Mm. But I need to see him expressed in my everyday life. Mm. And that's the bridge we're talking about. Yeah. You know? And when you begin to see God demonstrated, mm. you begin to understand that God is big in every situation that comes, <clears throat> that comes your way. Now let's look at the meaning of that word demonstrate. Demonstrate means to manifest or exhibit, to show. Yeah. See, there is nothing subdued and quiet about a demonstration. That's good. That's good. You know, you think of a fireworks display. That's good. That's a demonstration. Mm -hmm. And the whole city sees those yeah. fireworks. You can be halfway across town True. and fireworks are, are, are going. There is a demonstration going on. You know, the display is going. And that's really what Jesus came to do. Mm. He came to demonstrate this big God. He came to show them this big God in a way. So he, to exhibit, mm. to manifest, to bring to tangibility mm. and to show. That's what it means. Mm. You know, another meaning for demonstrate means to display openly or, pub or publicly. Mm. You see, again, there's nothing subdued. Mm. I want to demonstrate God in my closet. You can prepare in your closet for the demonstration, but the demonstration takes place out there. What you do in your closet, how you spend your time with God, mm -hmm. how you get into the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus always went off to some quiet place. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the scriptures, it, it says, you know, as he was accustomed to, mm -hmm. he was always accustomed to going into prayer in a particular place. He was accustomed to withdrawing. Mm -hmm. That is what happens in private. Mm -hmm. But when it is time for the demonstration, mm. it happens in public. Mm. So it's got to be a public display. So don't tell me, oh, I know God, I'm demonstrating him in my closet. Yeah, no, uh, you can't demonstrate. You him can't demonstrate him in your closet. It's in your closet, there's no demonstration. There's no demonstration. It's got to be a public mm. display. That's what demonstrate means. It also means to exhibit the operation or use of a device, process, product, or the like usually to a purchaser or prospect. Mm. If I want to sell you this product, I won't call the name so that I'm, even everybody can see what it is. Mm -hmm. So I'm not you know, doing a commercial for the company. But if I want to sell you this product and show you how this pencil works with this product, I'm going to say, Pastor Shola, I'm not, you don't have this pencil. Mm. Um, let me show you how it works. Mm. And I'm going to take it. Look at what happens. Mm. It can do this. It can do this. Mm. And guess what's going to happen? Pastor Shola is going to want this product. Right. He's going to desire it because he's seen a demonstration, but if you just came to my office and saw it sitting on my table, it's there, just lying. Mm. What if Jesus Christ walked around this earth with all the power he had, mm. and there was no demonstration? Mm. And then he went to the cross, there would have been no impact. What would the disciples have True. followed up with? True. But he didn't just you know, have the power sitting mm. in him, saying, well, you've heard I'm the son of the living God. Mm. Do what you want with it. Just better believe me. Mm. I'm the no. After declaring, he came to do what? Demonstrate. demonstrate. He came to show us how the product works. Mm. 
He came to show us how a man anointed by the Holy Spirit True. works. Glory be to God. Amen. So that when we receive the same Holy Spirit, we know that we too can demonstrate the bigness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we've seen this big God demonstrated by him. So Jesus came in the flesh to demonstrate, <laughs> to, to, to show this big God in tangible ways that the people could relate to. You know, after all of this, God is big in me message. Our desire is that at the end of it all, yeah. God will be a tangible reality to you mm -hmm. in your everyday life. Amen. He won't just be some yeah. historical person. Yeah. You know, there's this, there's this God they talk about. Yeah. The patriarchs knew him. Yeah. The priests knew him. Yeah. The prophets knew him, three Ps. Mm -hmm. The patriarchs, the priests, mm -hmm. and the prophets. The privileged patriarchs. The privileged, like that's another P. <laughs> the privileged patriarchs mm -hmm. knew him. The prophets knew him. I wish I could know him like Isaiah. Oh, how I wish I knew him like Abraham. Stop that. God is big in you as a child of God, as a believer. And Abraham could not say, God is big in me. Moses could never say, God. David, the man after God's own heart, could never say, God is big in me. They could say, God is big. But they could not say, in me. In me, Lord. It's good. They well, couldn't. Remember what we said last week? Yeah. That it was from Pentecost, the Pauline epistles. Mm. We began to mm. see that God could Lord. not just be big, mm -hmm. but be big in Inside. us who have accepted mm. the son of the living God, the firstborn. Glory be to God. Mm. So he came to demonstrate. This is really, really exciting me now. Mm. He came to demonstrate child of God and show us that, you know, God wasn't just this historical person for the privileged patriarchs, priests, and the prophets of old. And the way he went about it was to show that though he was contained in the flesh body of a man, mm -hmm. He was a man anointed by the Spirit of God. Anointed by the So the Spirit of God upon you is not just for you to... I don't want to get into the next sections. We're going to talk about, you know, how we actually express yeah. this big God in us. But he was a man anointed by God. Look at what Acts 10, 38 says. Yeah. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good. good. Not that. Yeah. The demonstration was is good. for good. Mm. We talked about We talked power. about that. The power is for being good. for good. Amen. Don't tell me God is sovereign and he does bad things. Nah. We're not going to go there. Nah. The demonstration is for, for good. good. The demonstration is to show you mm. a display of the goodness of mm. God. And like we were discussing recently, God is so eager to throw out his goodness at mm. us. Mm. He's just constantly every day throwing out his goodness. Mm. So there was Jesus. That means Jesus came to this earth to demonstrate the goodness of God. Mm. To show that God is so big in his goodness. Mm -hmm. And he went about doing good. But look at what he says. Healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. I mean, there is so much here. Mm -hmm. You can have so many contrasts here. Mm -hmm. Doing good, Jesus demonstrating. Mm -hmm. That means what he was doing good against was bad. That's right. Simple childhood Sunday school. Mm -hmm. God is good, devil is bad. Right. So you cannot tell me there's anything bad in God mm -hmm. and anything good in mm -hmm. Satan. He went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed. Oppression is bad. That's right. And it comes from Satan. And if he says healing, mm -hmm. it means sickness, disease, mm -hmm. anything that Jesus needed to heal mm -hmm. was bad. That's right. So there is no way he can be doing good mm -hmm. and the sickness or the disease came from God. Certainly not. There's no way. But he says healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God. God. Replace that with for the big God. Mm. Well, it had to be big because all... All who are oppressed by the devil, all we read in Matthew, all manner of diseases, all manner of sicknesses. It takes a big God yes. to take care of everything. All, everything. That's everything. Good. All manner. All ma there is no one who came to Jesus for healing Amen. that didn't get it. Yeah. That was the demonstration of the it's biggest. Just, it's, he never turned anybody back because no. the big God was in him in fullness. Yes, but in he was contained in the... In, in a man's body, yeah. anointed by, by the Holy the Spirit. Spirit. He came to demonstrate child of God. Mm -hmm. And he came to show that, you know, God was with him. And with these signs and wonders, he began to demonstrate. So any oppression of, any oppression rather, mm -hmm. of Satan is small. Mm -hmm. I want to say it again. Mm -hmm. Any oppression of Satan is small before the big God. Yeah. You see, you don't know how bad it is. They told me stage four cancer, mm -hmm. doing good mm -hmm. and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. devil. For the big God was, was with him. Ah, you have no idea. It's a mental situation, doing mm. good, demonstrating, mm. and healing all oh. who were oppressed of the devil. For the big God. Glory be Amen. to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Yeah. 
John chapter one, 3, verse 1 to 3. So we see here that Jesus, God was not just Jesus' father, who was aloof, distant out there. He was his father who was with him, like we've seen, doing signs and wonders and thereby demonstrating his bigness. John 3, 1 to 3. These are the words of, this is the testimony of Nicodemus. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Nicodemus, look at Nicodemus' uh, description of Jesus. Yeah. We know that you are a teacher come from God. That seems to say to me that the other teachers, well, you may not say they, they may not have come from come God. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we may not say that, but the, Nicodemus himself was a teacher. Yeah. He was a rabbi. Yeah. But he, what made Jesus Christ different because of the, what, the signs that he did and just like you said, he went about doing good, for God was with him. Nicodemus says so. No one can do these signs. No one can do these miracles except God is with him. So signs and wonders and miracles done by or in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, and they demonstrate and bear witness. That's good. They bear witness to the fact of the big God. I mean, you talk about, you just say God is big, God is big, God is big. If there is nothing to demonstrate, like you were mm. saying, nothing to show that he's mm. big, then anybody too can call him. And say God anything. is big. Any, anybody can say, well, if it doesn't require demonstration, mm. then anybody too can say, well, I am God also. Yes, now. Because it, it takes not, I mean, you, you don't need to show anything. So Jesus just didn't come saying blabbing. God is big, blabbing. He came to demonstrate with these works. And the works he did were such a, of a caliber that hadn't been done before. Amen. The prophets of old did miracles. Mm. But the prophets of old, the miracles of Jesus, they won't even come, they won't come within, this, uh, mm. within the, uh, the perimeter or mm. circumference mm. of what Jesus mm. did. So John the Baptist mm. had a witness of the coming Messiah. Mm -hmm. In John 1.15, we read, John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. This is John the Baptist speaking about Jesus and saying Jesus was before him, showing also his pre-incarnate existence. Yeah. Now, this was John who even pointed to Jesus as the Lamb of God. He was a forerunner. He was a forerunner. That was his mission. He was born. To, that was what he was born to do. But at a time, mm. John started doubting mm. his own very ministry. Mm. Mm. John was put in prison. Pressure. Pressure came Pressure. upon him. <laughs> and in the dungeon there in the prison, mm. he now began to question, mm. is, this, are you, is, this, is this my ministry valid? Mm. This person I pointed out to be the son of God, mm. the Messiah, the savior of the world, the one who bears the sins of the world, mm. anointed with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Is this really the one? Mm. So John was in prison and sent some of his disciples to Jesus. I'm sure he had been expecting some kind of explosion, some major thing to happen. Yeah. Okay, this Messiah now acts, something should happen. Yeah. And he was right there under pressure. Yeah. And he began to doubt. Yes. And Jesus answered him in John, uh, sorry, this is in Matthew chapter 11, mm. verse 2 to 5. And notice what Jesus does. Verse 2. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to him, go and tell John the things which you hear and see. Mm. The blind see and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel <laughs> preached unto them. You talk about demonstration. Glory be to God. If there is one word that describes all of this, is demonstration. So <laughs> here, was, here was John doubting Jesus. Yeah. I mean, think about that. Yeah. And that's like, that happens to people sometimes. Oh, yeah. People have 
heard God's word, they've, seen, they, they, they've walked with God, yep. but sometimes, you see, faith always has to be fed. Yep. And sometimes people get into places where probably their faith is not fed or circumstances overwhelm them mm. and they begin to question things they had proclaimed mm. and stood for and defended. And all Jesus needed to do to John here was to do tell John about the demonstrations. Pointed him in that direction. Pointed him in that direction. And interestingly, he was quoting from Isaiah's yeah. prophecy. So yeah. Jesus was saying, all you proclaimed about, all that, all, 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 all that I'm doing was spoken of uh, before. So be rest assured that he. That I'm he. That there's nobody else coming. And the one who is to come has already come. Wow. Demonstration. Wow. Demonstration. Wow. So, and it takes a big God to do the things that Jesus Christ did. The blind did. see. The lame walk. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to just, if you just said one. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know that pastor, if you go to his ministry, the, all the blind see. see. Yeah. That's his area. Mm. Jesus covered it Amen. all. Amen. Amen. You know, every minister, you say there's an area, and if I pray for the mm. for people with mm. uh, this growth, uh, growth yeah. the, I have these areas, so you begin to develop your healing so. ministry. There's this area, it just flows. I have mm. this grace. Jesus had it all. He had it all. He had the spirit without me. Me have measures. The blind see. Right. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. cleansed. These are hard. The deaf hear. Mm. So he wasn't talking about fever and headache mm. here. Lord, the good. dead are raised. These this. are what people would call big cases. Demonstration. Yeah. Public yeah. manifestation yeah. Yeah. of the bigness of God. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. So, so, yeah, so just some, some lesson here we have to take home is that just like John the Baptist sometimes, you know, where questions come, mm. many times, like the Bible says concerning Sarah, mm. we need to go back and judge him faithful Amen. who had promised. Amen. You, know, you, you know, Sarah, the Bible says that concerning Sarah, by faith, Sarah herself received, received strength, strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child because she, when she was past age, because she judged him Faithful. What did that, she do? She simply went back and looked at milestones. Demonstrations. Of mirac demonstrations. Miracles, demonstrations mm. of mm. God. And said that, mm. no, 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 no. This is small fry for a big God. Because he has demonstrated himself Amen. before. Amen. 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 John 5, 20 and 36. Mm. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does and will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. Mm. Verse 36. But I have a greater witness than John's. For the works which the Father has given me to finish, the very works I do bear witness that the Father has sent me. So Jesus is saying here, I have a greater witness than John. What was John's witness? John's witness was just a proclamation. Here is the Lamb of God that takes the will of silver. Here is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. He said it. That was where it ended. But Jesus said his witness in addition to what greater. John the greater works, mm. the works which John didn't do, the mm. works which no prophet, no person had done before, Jesus demonstrated. Amen. That's the way he brought God Amen. out. Amen. 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 Look Amen. at John 10, 25. Yes. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The, again, saying the same thing about the mm. witness. The works that I do in my father's name, they yeah. bear witness of me. Yeah. But you see, he did it in his father's, father's name. name. That's, that's, that's very important. If I do not do the works of my father, do not believe me. Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works. Hmm. That you may know and believe that the father is in me and I in him. Hmm. And they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their yeah. hand because he called God his father. Right. So he was saying, look, I have a witness. Mm -hmm. But that witness is grounded in my identity. True. Mm -hmm. I'm the son of the living God. I'm mm -hmm. doing the works of my father. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, the miracles, the signs, the yeah. wonders, on the, there's so much going on. We don't have time to go into it. So much going on in the body of Christ today. People doing all kinds of witchcraft crazy and things. crazy things. And it comes out as miracles. Mm -hmm. And we have people chasing yeah. after these so-called yeah. miracles. Yeah. The miracles in and of themselves mean nothing. True. But he says they are the father's works. And he's doing them. And, you know, that's, what, that's what's important here. Yeah. The miracles, the signs, and the wonders confirm.
confirm the word of God Amen. and confirm the identity Amen. of God. Glory be to God. Let's let, let's just end with Hebrews 2. <laughs> Time is gone already. Hebrews 2 verse 3. Time goes so fast well, in this studio. Well. <laughs> Goodness me, God. Look at Hebrews 2 verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so... Oh, we can't, we can't break this down today. We might touch it next week. If we neglect so great a salvation, which are the first began to be spoken by the Lord mm. and was confirmed mm. to us by those who heard them, God also... Bearing witness, both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to His own will. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God bore witness mm. with signs and wonders and mm. miracles. Mm. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. We won't put you in a box. Mm -hmm. we won't lock you up in a box and say this is the way God needs to operate, mm. according to it's Your will. will. The word and the spirit mm -hmm. work together mm -hmm. according to your will. Amen. We will teach the word and we will demonstrate Church. the word. Amen. That's what Jesus did. Amen. And that's how he experienced your bigness. And people began to see who you are and who you are to them as father. Mm. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for what you're showing us in this series. Mm. It's so overwhelming. You're a mm. big God. Amen. And we are the me because we know you. Yeah. The believer can say God is big, big in, me. in me. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Come with us as we expand our circle. Come, let us conquer new grounds together. Let us reach for greater heights together. Share the vision, share the provision and share the blessings. Come. Become a partner today. Here's how to join the Fresh Dew Partnership Circle. Go to freshdew.tv, register, and that's it. You become a partner. Financial partners can make deposits at any Diamond Bank branch nationwide. The Fresh Dew account number is 000 212 2097. Visit freshdew.tv or call 0700 Freshdew for more details.